Today I'm going to show you step by step how to use 3M command strips and how to install them for hanging pictures, command hooks, and much more. The first pre-prep instructions say that you need to wait at least 7 days after painting for best use for the command strips. Your next prep step is going to be rubbing alcohol and cotton pads. You're going to clean the dirt off the walls. Do not use house cleaners or water. Now look at all the dirt we got off this surface. And by the end of this video, you're going to know step by step how to properly install command strips the way that 3M says. So let's go ahead and get into it. So step one, separate the command strips and make sure you click them together. Make sure you hear this clicking noise. Before moving on to step two, this should be the very first step before you even purchase. What you want to do is figure out how much whatever you're going to place on the wall is going to weigh. Then what you want to do is you want to take that and look at the particular command strips and see what the weight capacity of it is. And there's all different kinds, so you really want to look. So as you see, this one is six, and this one is up to 16 pounds. So before you even put these on the wall, do any prep work, make sure you figure out how much it weighs, then you can decide on the purchase of the command strips. Now let's go on to step number two. So now we're going to take the command strips that we've already had pressed together and we are going to put them on the object that we want to mount on the wall. And again, what we want to do is we want to put it on here and then we want to hold it and press firmly for 30 seconds. And then we're just going to repeat on the other side. And what this is doing is make sure that the adhesion sticks to it really well. I think this is one step that people miss and this is what also causes stuff to fall off the wall. Now we're going to go ahead and move over to step three. What it says to do is on the back of here, you're going to peel off the backings with both of the command strips. Once you crunch it, they stay together. We're just now peeling off the backing. The most important part is you're going to press firmly for 30 seconds. Now you could do just a calculation in your head. So we are going to do, I think about right here and just going to press one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. You get the point. Jumping our way into spot four. Step four tells us to do is we're going to pull whatever we placed on there from the bottom and we're going to pull it out. And then once you do that, we're going to go ahead and move over to step number five. Now step number five is the boring part. We're going to go ahead and hold that back on the wall again for another 30 seconds. And then after that, we're going to just set this down and then we have to wait for an entire hour. So go ahead and set your timer and hit start and hang this up. But while we're waiting, you can go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. That'll make the time go by a whole lot quicker. Woo, that was the longest hour of my life, but now we are on to step six, which means we get to hang this bad boy on the wall and should stay there. We shouldn't have any issues because we followed the instructions, didn't we? So here we go. Right here, then we are gonna press and then we're gonna make sure that we hear that clicking sound. You know you're good to go. And obviously because it's not on the floor. So now that we completed all the steps, you should know how to properly install the 3M command strips. And if you ever get confused, there's gonna be timestamps of every step. So you just click on it, it'll take you right back to it. If you found this video helpful, please share it on your favorite social media so other people can see how to install them as well. Please smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. There's a big playlist right here that I'm building up of all 3M command products. Go ahead and check these out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.